Hi, I'm Charles Dahlquist, Council President for the Great Salt Lake Council, and this is Elder Pat Price, who is Chairman of the LDS Relationships Committee. We're thrilled to meet with you today for just a few minutes and to talk to you about something that is really exciting. Elder Price, I'm thrilled at the opportunity that 144 young men from this area of the church uh, will have to be able to go to Sweden for the World Scout Jamboree. Life changing it is opportunity. It is life changing. Yeah. 38,000 scouts will meet in Linkeby, Sweden, which is in southern Sweden, just above uh, the Danish border, uh, in July and August of 2011 for a wonderful experience. You know, uh, what we're doing in this council, as well as the Trapper Trails Council in Ogden and the uh, Utah National Parks Council in Provo, has never before happened in the history of scouting and the history of the church, and that is to take 144 boys, and most of them coming from the Great Salt Lake Council area, mm -hmm. and uh, sending them to a <coughs> World Scout Jamboree, and all ventures, all older boys. Yes. And, uh, you know, yes. um, Elder yeah. Price, this is more than um, just them going to the World Scout Jamboree. What is exciting is not just them going and participating, and by the way, they'll be, uh, we have formed them into a choir, 144 plus 16 <laughs> yes. leaders choir. Yeah. They'll be singing, I am a child of God, rise up, O men of God, um, uh, on my honor, and they'll all be si also be singing a wonderful Swedish hymn that was just sang, uh, just sung at the, uh, at the wedding of the Crown Princess. Oh, wonderful. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, it'll be a wonderful mm. opportunity, but most importantly, these are young men who are handpicked by their stake presidents and bishops to go to have a wonderful experience to become trained and to come back and strengthen their preschools. Wow. Marvelous opportunity. You know, you, you think, Charles, of what this will mean in their lives. Uh, go, first opportunity to go to a foreign land, which broadens their horizons, increases their confidence. That's true. Uh, it, it helps them to begin to focus not only on the, the marvelous things that will occur there, but probably for many of them, maybe they won't know until perhaps later, what a foundational uh, basis this will set for their That's future true. lives, for, for missions. Uh, for opportunities for service, uh, being able to take the values of scouting and the and the leadership traits that that they that they get uh, exposed to as Boy Scouts, but then have opportunity to really develop and and use in the venture program. That's true. Uh, it, it broadens their abilities to to lead, to think, to to become uh, more. Um, focused on, on life's purpose and contributing. But uh, as I see this, we, we have 144 going out now, which uh, could spread their influence, could spread to hundreds and, and even thousands oh, of, oh. of young men who look at them as leaders who will follow them as, as they, they, uh, they begin to do the, the important things of, of life as missions preparing to be uh, husbands and fathers and and contributing members to society. This this is a, is a very uh, foundation setting event for them, it and uh, we appreciate all you've do, uh, done to to make this possible. Well, I, I'm We're really grateful. I'm excited about it because these young men, as they get to Sweden, uh, they will <laughs> sing on the arena stage uh, before 38,000 scouts and scouters. And uh, but before they do, they'll have two days to be able to invite other individuals to be able to join that choir. Now, yeah. they're, they're oh, quick wonderful. studies, and they, so uh -huh. we anticipate a choir of about 225, but think of these young men going out, sharing this excitement about singing in this meeting with other scouts that will yeah. be camping near them from all different countries, Great spirit. different languages. Yeah. It will be wonderful. And then, and the thing that we want to let you know about is, is when they come home, they will be available to provide venturing training all over the council so that we can strengthen the priest quorums and help build better missionaries. We're actually losing too many <coughs> of our uh, young men uh, who are the 16, 17, 18 year old uh, range and this will give us an opportunity to use venturing to strengthen this program, but most importantly, to hold on to our young men, prepare them to be better missionaries. You know, as I think about this, Charles, this fits in so well with the Duty to God program. It does. Because as you bring, as these young, young men come home, 
one of the great uh, one of the great facets of the of the duty to God program is this uh, concept of sharing. That's right. And That's exactly when right. they come home and are able to share this experience, we would encourage you to use them, uh, that they can begin to to employ uh, all of the skills that they have learned in this uh, in this setting to uh, share this with and infect others. As you say, we're, we're losing far too many young men. We need to take every opportunity we can to strengthen them. That's exactly and, right. And uh, this, this, this fits in beautifully with the Duty to God program. It would be a, a waste if we didn't take that opportunity to let them share. You know, Elder Price, in the, the 48th chapter of uh, Alma, it talks about where General Moroni was he identified the weak areas of his command and then he strengthened those weak areas and that's a great lesson for all of us because most yes. in most stakes and wards around uh, the church the weak part of the youth program is in the older boy program and, yeah. and if that's the uh, the situation in your stake and if you're concerned about these older boys we encourage you to have your young men presidency get completely trained make sure that they understand the venturing program and then contact uh, your key three in your district and we'll be working there to assist them to provide some wonderful training so that uh, we can help you. We've got a brand new vice president of venturing, Brother Floyd Hatch, yes. who um, is a whirlwind. Yeah. He has experience, yeah, he's been on the terrific. Young Men General Board and uh, yeah. is a great individual. This is one of our key uh, priorities is to strengthen the young men of the uh, venturing age and to strengthen the priest quorums of these young men. So thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for inspiring these young men. And just know that we are 100% by you. And if we can ever be of help, don't hesitate to call. Thank you, Charles. Thanks, Elder Price. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Do you want to do another one? Anything else?